All right, so today we're gonna to be reacting to another brand new me video. Um, this is another weight loss of 230 pounds. And uh, the title is, I lost 230 pounds, but can surgery fix my excess skin? Brand new me. So currently in my weight loss journey, I've lost 200 pounds. So I should be able to relate a lot to this video. And um, since it says, can surgery fix my S6 skin? Let's see if surgery is involved in this and let's see if there's a before and after and all those goodies that we're looking forward to seeing. So without further ado, let's get it going. Before I started my journey, I remember waking up every morning thinking, when's that day I'm not going to wake up due to how heavy I was? I weighed in at 414 pounds, and if I didn't make a change, there was going to be no more Noel. I wasn't going to be here anymore. I've lost 234 pounds. I have quite a bit of excess. Wow. Skin. I don't feel very normal. In three weeks, I'll be having skin removal surgery. I am very, very nervous. I'm about to go in. I can't wait to see how this looks. I'm excited now. Let's see how this comes out. Throughout my childhood, I was a gymnast, so I was very, very active. Oh, shit. My coaches were very strict with our eating habits. Anytime I would indulge, they could see the next day in my performance they would punish us. When I quit gymnastics, I was able to enjoy all the foods that I wasn't able to enjoy during my training. So I overindulged and continued to overindulge. Mm -hmm. That then turned into 15, almost 20 years of me abusing food. I can okay. see how that could happen. <laughs> what about doing? When I met Kristen in 2004, I was around 300 and 25 pounds at that time. Wow. Someone had some moves, huh? Just <laughs> He had a little bit of moves back then. Oh, wow. So now he got big. Yeah. I knew I wanted to become a mother. Or did they get we big together? A bit. Um, we tried for years and still could not become pregnant. That caused, just for my weight to spiral even more. Man. The weight just piled on. I ended up over 350 pounds. Yo. I had two failed adoptions, and I hit almost 400 pounds at that point. That's tough. And then we decided to go an alternate route, and that was through uh, DCS and foster care to adopt our children. We were successful and adopted four amazing children, and then became pregnant two years after the adoption. Nice. I was pretty proud in that moment. I was excited. Yeah. About six months before I started my journey, I remember waking up every morning thinking, oh my gosh, I woke up. I'm alive. When's that day I'm not going to wake up due to how heavy I was? Yo, I used to I think about that about too. Everything. I struggled walking. Because of sleep I apnea. Struggled putting my shoes I used to think on. that I maybe my kids one day I go to sleep Six and months waking up every day thinking, you're lucky to be alive. I would stop breathing and in my sleep. I thought, I am so lost though. I have to lose over 200 pounds here. How can I possibly do this? I decided to face the scale. Got home, stepped on the scale, scale read error. That happened okay. to me. These new batteries, right, surely. Put in new batteries, stepped on it again, and read error again. That happened to me, I huh? the scale, max weight limit was 408 pounds. No way. I can relate. No way I can. You know what's crazy? Back in my head, I my scale having a max a limit of 446 pounds pushed me sure enough, to push me to go under 450 at all times until finally, I when I finally went over 450 and I noticed that no matter how hard I was working, it wasn't coming down. That's when I said, I got it. I got to get it going. We got to start because that means I weigh over 460, you know? Well, that was the beginning of 2019. Yeah. But now we're eating better. And once I got to a 200 pound weight loss, 
I realized it was time to start working out. I had all of this energy. Becoming that active after years of, you know, sitting on the couch was, oh my gosh, the high that I got from being at the gym was incredible. She's just very determined, you know, she's always in here, always working, always trying to get a little bit better. Every time I see her, she's a little bit more determined, a little bit more, um, she has more of a purpose, she's on a mission. I went from being immobile to very mobile, and now the sky is blown. I lost 234 pounds in 14 months. Wow. That's kind of where I'm at. 200 pounds, 13 months. I am very proud of myself. I am very body positive. However, of course, I have natural insecurities with the skin. In three weeks, I'll be having skin removal surgery just to not have to tuck it in all the time. You know, when I'm working out, the skin slides right out during my workouts out of my pants. I'll be having a, an extended arm lift, so it'll be cutting me off from here all the way down into my armpit. And then an extended tummy tuck, which is going to go from hip to hip, where he'll pull down all of my loose skin here. And then I'm having a breast reduction and a breast lift to kind of put them back where they belong. And that is going to be life-changing for me. Okay. I am very, very it's called an arm surgery. lift. And a stomach extended tummy tuck. I gotta research these. I'm in the pre OR. I'm about to go into the operating room. The surgery will be eight to nine hours. I didn't see her thighs. I wonder if she's getting the thighs too. I mean, a woman could have thick thighs, but a guy. I wish they talked about the cost too in these. They don't talk about the cost. You know, my wife's transformation, her, her outward appearance is amazing. You can see the results that she's worked for. I think the biggest thing for me is her mental transformation. You know, there's a, it's like a new light has been turned on, and it's even brighter, and she shines. Is this after? Oh yeah, this is after. See, I feel like this looks good, but I feel like or maybe she's not gonna lose any more weight. That looks. Oh. That looks good. Enjoy watching them grow up and be in on the action. That's the best part of this journey. I've learned so much about myself and my relationship with food, that I am worthy, that I am enough. Boy, it feels so good to feel free from these chains that held me back from being happy. It's some funny stuff with these videos. Story, they don't talk about how they lost they the weight. Worthy, they, they just show the now, gym. And, that no matter where you are, and I know she didn't lose all that weight in 14 months purely with the gym. She fasted. She fasted. She fasted. Something I want to talk about just real quick, a few seconds. When you weigh too much and you go hard in the gym, you're damaging your body. You're damaging your joints and other parts of your body because the weight is too much, you know? Now, I'm not saying you got to go hard to the gym. You can go for a walk. You can uh, just do light exercises and all that sort of stuff. But that same stuff you don't even have to do in the gym, to be honest. So a lot of people like to stress the gym when people are fat. I like the gym. It's kind of like the way I like fasting when I first started for the mental benefits. You know, hitting the gym got me going with weight loss because I call it blood flow. If your blood is not moving, right, if your circulation isn't going, if that blood isn't rushing to your head, you're not going to get that spark of energy you need. You know, I used to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and hit the gym, you know, and that shit had me boosted for the rest of my day. It was so important. But, but I never did it by force. It, it was something that naturally I wanted to do. It was something that, like, it was part of me, you know? 
I like these brand new videos, brand new me videos because they're short and sweet. But um, eventually I will dive deeper and go into videos that talk about cost, talk more about the before and after. Um, I do like these videos because they cover the reasons why, they cover the personal things like, you know, relationships and, and this one, family and having kids. I really like them for that reason. But I want to go more technical with it because um, I I can relate to all these people. You know, I can relate to all these people's stories, all their struggles, all their reasons why they decided to get it going. So I'm, I'm already there. Now it's more so of how do we take care of the saggy skin? What are the costs associated with it? The before and after care of the person and the scars and the wounds. You know, just like the the day-to-day, the, the day-to-day. Day -day day. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to say I've been lazy when it comes to searching for these type of videos. But uh, eventually, I'm going to look for them. And I prefer to find people that I can really relate to, like people who have a similar backstory as me and also people that are around the same age as me. I would prefer a guy, but it doesn't have to be a guy. Just as close to me as possible, at least for the first video. So I'm, I'm going to start searching for that. So, yeah, this has been another reaction by the American African. I hope you guys enjoy the reactions. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.